what is up fantasizers this is anime fantasizer over here having the time of his life because we're doing an honest trailer in civil war <laughs> And as you know, I am a nerd for life. I, I, I read the comics. By the way, they're a lot different than how they made this movie, but you know, Marvel's never exactly how the comics are. Neither is DC. I mean, who likes that? Okay, I might like it. Yeah, no, I, I like it. But we won't worry about that right now because this trailer is going to be awesome. Hopefully, it'll be really funny and not too messed up. Like, but I hope it's not like when we did, you know, Power Rangers was pretty cool. What was it? Um. Gardens of the Galaxy. I was a little bit mad about that one because that was just a little bit too much. But since they spoke of the Avengers, I said, why not? I mean, I have a playlist of stuff that I'm going to react to, and this is one of the things that I mean to react to. Today, I'm bringing you guys three reactions to an honest trailer because I didn't do it for the last three days. So, like this video, comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe, check out the Facebook page, Instagram, everything. Support us, y'all. Become fantasizers. As you know, let's get it! You've seen them fight as hero versus hero. You've that was a lit moment. Friend so was that. Friend. Now, the greatest threat to the Avengers is... It's gonna be themselves again, isn't it? Yep, that's what happens when your villains kind of suck. Captain America. That's kind of true. War. Loosely based on the comic book crossover event comes the epic struggle that has your favorite heroes asking, is it better to be dickishly stubborn? If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Or stubbornly dickish. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. In a film that settles a moral and political debate, the only way superheroes know how, by beating the crap out of each other. Well, Take that regulatory oversight, the government wants to rein in the I'm not gonna disagree, but I'm not gonna agree. The that'll entire world be wrong. That other time, they saved the entire world from a secret Nazi death cult, and again, saved the entire world from the army of murder robots they created. Okay, that one is on them. Now, Captain America must get in line or face the prospect of an all out civil war, or at least one group sparring session. You're pulling your punches. One real fight, and a nice letter reminding us that everything is still hunky dory. Tony, if you need me, I'll be there. What? You thought there'd be lasting stakes? Come on, this is Marvel we're talking about. Cap is back, and he's still a total beefcake, leading a team of rebels alongside his quippy black best friend. But you have to go on. Really? Hawkeye, who's great in small doses. Ant Man, who's there. Scarlet Witch, who's still doing fake hand wavy stuff. And Bucky, the man whose haircut was frozen in the 90s. Opposing them is Team Iron Man. Wait, no! Best friend. He yes, kept growing his hair, remember? He had a haircut thing. back then. Black Widow, who still so sees really anyone she can get her legs around. She does do that a lot. Panther, the king of giving monologues into the middle distance. I can't wait till that movie comes out. I did not react to it, but I will watch it. Whatever the hell vision is. He's awesome. Yeah, neither do we, buddy. And the best version of Spider-Man, complete with a pre-murdered Uncle Ben. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Tony. Tony gives him the great power, great responsibility speech. I am so out of here. Real as these four friends. What was say? That was like, I was like, really? Zero. You want to take that advice from Tony? By framing the winter responsibility the here, people. Chaka, which will, uh, hold on, I forgot. We rolls Zemo's plan again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Rex's car? Really? Stealing a book? Okay. Not sure he drowned that sink, though. Okay, that makes sense. There's no way he knew those guys were gonna show That's up. That's a lot. Wait, so he called the maid from Russia? Ah, uh, the old captured on purpose boy. Someone's been reading Loki's plan. Ugh, this is dumber than Luther's. Not a great plan. Uh, can we just play the airport scene again? Are you oh, serious? That is so cool. That was a pretty like cool the size of an Now he's a giant. Experience of film. That's okay. No what? Mindless action. It's also about. I'm not gonna fight with that. Tony Stark. You well, you should know. Of dating someone who's contract that's a little wrong. Just wrong. We'll take a break. The weird flirtation of this weird British Christmas robot and this weird witch who puts him in the friend home. And the greatest love.
love story of all. As Steve Rogers once again pines for the plums of the man that only he and Tumblr really care about. As he tries to get this brainwashed killer cave band for the second movie in Shipping is that. Like, that's disgusting. While ignoring two perfectly good boyfriends who are right there. Look, I'm not hating on gays or anything, but. And now he has to go in the like, They would never, like. Deal with Peggy Carter's niece? 90 years old, this guy is still a virgin. Someone please have sex with Captain America already. Hell, you know what? I'll do it. I'll bend over right now. So go enjoy the hero versus Whoa. hero movie that everyone loved. Instead Calm down, of hold your horses. Movie that most everyone Yo. hated, even though they're a lot more similar than anyone would like to admit. Featuring a non-superpowered villain. Tricking a symbol of America into fighting a billionaire playboy, using an incoherent plan that includes blowing up a meeting of government officials, and using the hero's moms to manipulate them. Save Martha! I don't care. You killed me. That ends with an ominous warning from a prison cell, and sets up a universe worth of spin-offs along the way. Uh oh Cue the airport scene again. Oh, come on! Oh, that's better. Starring Barnes and Noble, Robert Downey Jr. Jr., Leh Lissandra, Osimo, Jeremy Againer, Put a Bird on It, Walky Road, The Spectacular Sony Man, Tahala, Womb Raider, Another Blue Marvel Villain, you know, because he's sad, Brian Fantanta, and Giant Location, Headers, Vienna, Queen. 1991, Cleveland. Wait, there's no reason to get that excited about Cleveland. Captain America 3, Avengers 2.5. Boy, that escalated quickly. That's you, right? So how did Tony know that Peter Parker was Spider-Man? Did he just break into every teenage boy's bedroom in New York until he got lucky? Oh, wait, hang on. That sounded really bad. <sighs> You've seen him in action. Now, learn what his team really thinks of him. Steve has opened my hole so much Thor can use it as a portal to Asgard. <laughs> if I really want to f a 94 year old, I could just f stay and leave. <gasps> now that's a guy who really knows how to f you. Just ask Jack Kirby. <gasps> Can't wait for the next move when you try to do that head scissor thing that Thanos just throws you into the fing sun. <laughs> Everything is dead that you love. <laughs> Screen junkies presents the roast of Captain America. Watch now. I'm the captain now. Does anyone have any orange slices? Are you Mr. Stank? Because I stank like Mr. Stank. I'm not easily impressed. Whoa. A that was funny. I'll be honest. That wasn't so much of wrong, but just weird. Like. Especially the whole Captain America roast, which I will probably end up reacting to. In fact, I need to write down in my schedule. But I liked it. It was lit. I need to find that Captain America roast. Yeah, that's Thank you guys for watching this. Please comment down below, like this video, share with your friends, become a fantastic. Check out all our socials. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye.